Have What's, you heard about this? Do you know about this? This next one? Oh, I was. I went to the Discovery one. Discovery one. Yeah, I actually don't think this other one's that interesting. I mean, it's like cool, but it's not it's very practical. So wacky. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's talk about it. Let's talk it, about it's, it. It's it's interesting. It's fine. not realistic at all. Sure. Input lag. Blah blah blah. Anyways, um, running both frame d- generation and fluid motion frames at the same time. A South Korean tech outlet, uh, Quasar Zone. Yeah. Uh, claims that they have managed to run NVIDIA's frame generation and AMD's fluid motion frame technology simultaneously, although uh, they showed the benchmark results, but no footage, and probably for good reason. Uh, res- <laughs> this resulted in an average boost of up to three times the frame rate as gaming at native resolution in 4K and ultra settings. Quasar Zone plugged in an RTX 4090 and an R- RX 6600 into the same PC installed both their drivers, then hooked up the primary display to the 6600 while the 4090 was set to the primary GPU in Windows so that the 4090's post-frame gen output passed through the 6600. While the average was good, the 1% lows either barely increased or even decreased for most games. It also increased artifacting and input lag, and I suspect by a rather significant amount. Discussion question. This is a terrible idea. Should we do it? Uh, I don't know. I. Uh, it's got to be rough. This reminds me of the time that we ran SLI and Crossfire oh, yeah. in the same computer at the same oh, time. Yeah. That was, that was so frustrating. Sick. Oh, yeah. It, was, it made me angry for <laughs> a not insignificant period of time. Like, it was really awful. <laughs> It looked um, cool. Yeah, it did. It looked super cool. It looked very cool. And honestly, people didn't even think it was that interesting of a video. Like, I there was a lot of feedback on that video and around that time that we've like jumped the shark and lost touch. And it's like, well, yeah, that's not why we did it. So that you, because we thought it was a good idea, we just thought yeah. it was. We just thought it was kind of wild, cool. I thought it was cool. Um, but it's it's tough, right? Because it's I always still think it's cool. It's always a fine balance, right? Like if we if we do nothing but practical content about how you can build an affordable computer, people will tune out because they're bored. And if we do you know, out there, like, uh, spectacle content, people will tell us we've lost touch, right? And it's like, okay, well, so some of this, some of that, some of something in between. We just keep throwing spaghetti at the wall. Come on, wall, eat your spaghetti. Just eat it. 